For those of you not yet caught up in the madness of winter recreational activities, our story may seem a little fantastic. To those who have experienced this touch of exhilarating fever and who return each year to its call, we hope this brings back pleasant and exciting memories. The place is the quiet town of Eagle River, Wisconsin. Quiet, that is, for most of the year. Then suddenly, almost overnight, this small hamlet of 1,500 swarms with activity as over 50,000 friendly, colorful people come to share in three fantastic days of action. When a town like Eagle River grows to over 50,000, it poses a number of problems. Traffic, parking, food, and lodging, to name a few. The event that highlights this winter festival is the annual World's Championship Snowmobile Derby. Its popularity is apparent. Fans, drivers, and whole families come from the surrounding Midwest, the East Coast, Far West, and Canada to join in the excitement of this special event. Colorful. No other word seems to describe the variety of brilliant hues as crowds gather around the track area looking for old friends or making preparations for upcoming events. And while there are excellent motel and hotel facilities in the area, a regular mini city springs up near the Derby site and provides all the necessary conveniences for those families who wish to camp near the action. Moving about the area, we see buses of every size and description. Motorhomes, campers, trucks, pickups, and cars towing snowmobiles with individual drivers and full-fledged racing teams. While fans and families decide which of the many different activities they will watch each day, Drivers and pit crews spend that time registering and setting up so they'll be ready when it's their turn to compete. With five events and three or more categories in each, preparation is a major activity. Next comes inspection. To make sure every machine fits the rigid specifications of its class, stock, modified stock, or super modified. It's a thorough painstaking evaluation that leaves no room for doubt. The first event is the men's supermodified race, and excitement is high as each driver checks his machine for the last time before the race begins. for position, the snowmobiles line up on the track, revving up motors, waiting for the starting gun to send them speeding around the snow-packed track. is mounting. And finally, the gun. They're off, and what a start. Racing around curves. Dodging, speeding, weaving back and forth. These are some of the most unique snowmobiles in the country, modified by their drivers to race with maximum efficiency.
competition is tough, and the race is close as the last lap flag goes out. crosses the finish line. The success of the race depends on more than just driver's skill. The track must be in perfect shape. Hard work and 60 or 70,000 gallons of water mixed with sawdust is applied to the track in layers and when frozen provides a better surface than snow for this kind of racing. One thing a newcomer to this spectacle learns from the beginning, age does not limit the skill, determination and competitive spirit of this sport. It might surprise some to learn that many of these young people work on their own machines with help and supervision from family or tips from the pros who easily remember the days when they too dreamed of winning a world's championship race. Clothing, for instance, is important for safety. The basic snowmobile suit is fine for protection from the cold, but is inadequate when it comes to the kind of protection needed out on the track. Let's list quickly some of the safety clothing they wear to protect themselves from serious injury. Soccer-like pads protect the hips and groin areas with a combination of strong fiberglass panels and soft padding. Fiberglass football shin guards are often worn, plus a pair of normal pads or padded motorcycle racing leather pads for additional protection beneath the insulated snowmobile pants. shoulder pads and a padded chest protector offer the most protection possible for the upper body. An all leather kidney belt provides external and internal protection plus support for the lower back area. Heavily padded elbow guards and padded ribbed gloves shield hands and arms. 